Buenos días. Good morning, Spanish. Good morning. Uh, I'm very happy to be here again. When I came the first time in May, you were not here. You had just gone into vacation. And I told the uh, Chancellor that I wanted to come back and uh, meet you all. You can find me, Mariela Cruz Yoga, in Insta, okay? <laughs> So, um, what can I say? I love your country so much that I am finishing my tenure um, in August and I'm thinking about staying. And I'm thinking about doing a startup for wellness and well-being in India and sharing yoga, Ayurveda, and the magic of meditation with many, many people. So, I'm going to need some of your help. Who's going to help me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to make a major startup that's going to touch the whole world. Because the West is thirsty for the wisdom of India. And at the same time, India is becoming a leader in the global <coughs> scenario. Yesterday, I was in a meeting with all the ambassadors from my region with the head of the Indian Chinese um, Society here in, in New Delhi. And the axis of uh, leadership is shifting in the world. And this is something that cannot be denied. That's what, why I have chosen to stay here for a longer period of time. I have my family in Costa Rica and Germany. But I do think it's important that all of you, as Indian citizens, and all of us as foreign visitors to your country, that we know that that reality is going on now. Um, I think right now the main issue in our world is an issue of leadership. And that's why I want to show you uh, some videos. Um, one of them was done, I think it was in June in Maharashtra, in Dule. I went there and we were uh, reviewing these projects on rain harvesting because water is the main and most important element in our lives. And in the food industry and everything without water, we're dead. And also they uh, asked me about my path in yoga. And what is the relationship of yoga with the current uh, political, economical, and financial issues in the world? My point of view is that a leader needs to first know what their purpose is about and what their intention is about. And also leadership is about service. It's not about serving yourself, it's about serving others. So in yoga practice we call that seva. I have a group of friends here in Delhi, we practice together. And Ali, my friend who's here with me, who's going to speak to you, he lived in Costa Rica and studied there. We have this... Uh, community and we meet, we practice yoga and then all of us we have a job and through that job of giving we learn so much about ourselves because anything that we gather in life academically, uh, economically, any type of good that comes to us we should give back. That's how we keep the ball rolling. So your uh, preparation here, uh, your professional preparation and the impact you're going to have in, the, in your work, in your future, is going to gravitate around that. Are you being selfish? Are you just serving yourself? Are you just uh, hoarding, like the materialistic paradigm tells us? Or are you willing to be a channel and help others? And the most amazing happiness comes from helping others. There's no nothing more beautiful, nothing more rewarding and I'm speaking also as a mother of seven children, six sons and one girl. And I'm speaking also as a grandmother of a one and a half little baby boy. <laughs> so I have a big family and I have been uh, giving unconditionally for the past 30 years. And still as a woman I have found time to also follow my dream. What is my dream? When I met India and I found yoga, I knew that my passion was there. So 
Passion is a guest that won't greet you twice. Know what your passion is and don't worry about money, don't worry about anything, everything is going to come to you. You must do what you love with love, like the Gita says. Any offering you bring me, even a little flower, a little pebble, if you bring to me in love, I receive it. That's what Krishna tells Arjun. So um, I would like you to see the videos. One of them is about my beautiful and amazing country. Has any one of you been in Costa Rica except Ali? <laughs> <laughs> and I think I already convinced your chancellor to go there next month. <laughs> So please watch with, a, with an open heart and then we'll do a session of uh, questions and answers. Thank you. and palaces but still there was something missing I think that what really connected me to India was meeting my teacher I have no words to thank him for his example for his presence his name is Shara Joyce and he is in Mysore Karnataka he's teaching right now with many of my friends there so Ashtanga Yoga came and struck me like a thunderbolt because it's a very intense practice it's it demands a lot of dedication and sacrifice. We wake up very early, we practice six days a week. We do extremely uh, sophisticated asanas and pranayama. So that starts uh, crumbling all the past issues. So Ashanga completely shattered me. And at one point I was saying, what am I doing, what am I doing this, this is very painful, this is taking so much sacrifice away from my family, trips to India from Costa Rica. Uh, at one point I thought I was crazy. <laughs> but my teacher always said, first 10 years of practice, you know, they're not really doing anything. And after the 10th year of practice, something started shifting. My own perspective on life changed. So it's like I had these black glasses on and everything was negative and I was always complaining and I was bitter and I was full of uh, grief. But yoga slowly has started like uh, lifting all that pain and suffering and my mind is not so attached to the pain. It's not that pain doesn't happen because pain always happens in life. But now my mind is able to focus on the positive and the beauty and the love 
And now, with 16 years of practice, I have to say that my glasses are not black anymore. <laughs> Yoga has gave me the energy to raise six sons and one daughter. I also have a grandson, and even though I've had my moments of hard, uh, losing my patience and feeling very tired, yoga always brought me back. I'm not here to say that yoga is for everyone. Yoga is a spiritual path. It's not an exercise. Those of us who feel attracted to yoga is before, because we did it in a past life. I do believe in reincarnation. So if there's something that is like uh, pulling you towards yoga, follow it. And that pull is going to take you to a teacher. And hopefully it will take you to a good teacher. Because yoga cannot be practiced without a teacher. You need a teacher. You cannot learn yoga on videos on YouTube. It's not about uh, a fashion or a trend. Because now in the West, so many people are doing yoga that is not yoga. Yoga is... Born in India, yoga must be learned in India, taught by Indian teachers to Westerners. And then as Westerners, we can humbly go back to America and teach it as we have learned it here. But we are not supposed to change it or to add it or to market it or all the distortions that are happening in the West. Well, they say that, um, that you don't find yoga that yoga finds you. And when yoga finds you, it's like a rebirth. defines themselves when they reconnect with their spirit, their true essence, the nature that shapes who you are. <coughs> who am I? I am an alluring concentration of beauty, rainforests, beaches, and biodiversity. I live in the heart of the Americas, guarded by two seas. I am the deep green that entices those seeking relaxation and adventure. And I am so much more. In my essence live the warmth and authenticity of my people. People with open arms who look forward towards the future and welcome opportunities. I am a unique, happy, and caring nation that expresses itself through the diversity of its cultures. I am cradle of human talent, proud people who embrace challenges. I am a nation governed in peace with a solid, long-standing democracy. I stand behind health, education, and the pursuit of self-development as the cornerstones of happiness. In my essence lie the preservation and care for the environment. A model to the world. I breathe the riches of my land, and I recognize the wit of my people, ever capable of giving more than expected. I am a trustworthy and reliable nation, distinguished by the value of what I create. Human development, innovation, and a proven international competitiveness set me apart and enable me to export quality to the world. Those who come to know me are surprised, amazed. My greatest aspirations can be found in my concentrated essence. I am a country that attracts those who seek the value of excellence and the commitment to sustainability. I have much to offer those wishing to purchase, invest, produce, and develop. I have the required human and technological capabilities to achieve this. I rediscover myself by searching within. I find myself in what is vital, in what is true. I rediscover what is important. I am green. I am happiness. I am solidarity. I am talent. I am innovation. I am quality. I am diversity. I am concentration. I am essential Costa Rica. Okay, so in three videos, I gave you uh, my life, the yoga, the passion, 
um, the green essence of paradise, which is my home birth. Um, I would really like to interact with you and those back there is too far away. So Adi and me, we're going to sit down here. And if you can please come and approach us, that would be really